Elon Musk has tested out the version 12 and this is like my third time watching this and I have to turn this into a video because there's a lot of key takeaways in this video that is absolutely insane what i'm going to be doing in this video is going to take parts the most important parts of this live stream that elon was doing and just break it down because there was a lot of important parts here some parts that actually made me go like sheesh absolutely insane so if you guys are ready smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and guys i made a patreon i know a lot of you guys been asking me about the tesla master charts and everything like that i made a patreon you guys can check it out here the fan level starts at 10 bucks you get access to everything view only then it goes to 20 dollars and 30 dollars i spent a lot of hours and in general a lot of time making these charts so if you guys want access to it and yes i'll have exclusive things there as well discord coming soon as well so that's really exciting and an exclusive q a hop on to patreon and I'll see you guys there. All right, now let's get down to it. We'll rely on others to uh, take this video, edit out the boring bits, and speed it up. Don't worry, Elon, I got you covered. Entirely AI and cameras, just like our brain works, which is neural nets and eyes. So here's the first point. This is absolutely a sheesh moment. Elon said here that this whole FSD thing is an entire AI and camera. It's like a brain and eyes. Literally, like we don't have any of that stupid LiDAR thing. We don't have 9,000 cameras around. It's literally just cameras and the AI. That's it. And the AI is being taught how to drive and all that kind of stuff, which is absolutely insane. All neural nets. That's insane. And again, here's the crazy part. There's no code. There's no program. Like that's, that's insane. That's absolutely, the thing is not programmed. It's crazy. That's just absolutely in flipping insane. It's all video training data, all data collection. I mean, guys, just look at this chart. This chart, I've been stressing this since Q2 because just look at the exponential growth. This is what is going to get FSD solved a whole lot faster. It's this, it's all this. This is it. And Elon is confirming here because there's no code. There's no programming. It's just an AI like a, like a, like a four-year-old, five, six-year-old, 10-year-old, 12-year-old, however you guys want to look at it, learning how to drive properly. That's insane. And please, guys, do not sleep on this. This is the main thing that will tell us how soon FSC will be solved. And this exponential growth you see here in the last three months tells you a lot of things. The main thing it tells me is that it's going to get solved a whole lot faster. And we did not program in, there's no, pro, there's no line of code that says slow down for speed bumps. So it is doing this based entirely on video training. Yeah, and there was a we just saw uh, there was a, a bicyclist. Uh, again, there is no line of code that says uh, give clearance to bicyclists. It is just doing what people do. Again, see, he said it again. No code, no programming, nothing. Just absolutely insane. It can read signals without being taught to read. That's what Elon just said. That's because it's been given a lot of data. It knows what it sees. It knows what it is. It follows what humans does and it learns that way. That's insane. Again, LiDAR does not do that. The LiDAR, it's just pre-mapping everything. And if something is different, it won't know until it catches. It's not scalable compared to what Tesla's FSD is. That part is absolutely in flip insane. It's crazy. And you guys should not sleep on this part. I'm telling you, this thing has no code. For me, when he said that, I'm just like, then how the heck? But it's all the video training, all the data. Again, I stress this chart. This chart is key. Absolutely key to know when FST is going to get solved. The more data they collect, the sooner FST is going to be solved. And Tesla is number one. Once again, there is no line of code that says stop at a stop a sign or wait for another car. Yeah, uh, who came first or whatever? Well, who came? There's not like wait X number of seconds, nothing like that, nothing. Is that, this is all nets, baby. Nothing but nets. Elon says it again, no code for the stop sign. It just knows it's a stop sign. There's no programming, there's no code. I think a lot of short-term or bearish investors should understand this. This is crazy, this is next level stuff. If if Tesla can do all this without any programming and all, needs, all it needs is data, then it's game over at the moment. It's literally done. It's not a matter of if anymore. It's a matter of when this thing is going to get solved. It's absolutely insane. And as he just mentioned, it's all neural nets. It's a brain learning. The cameras are the eyes and the AI is the flipping brain. It's learning how to drive. Man, 2030, not even. 2026, 2027 is going to be a very interesting year for cars. Sheesh. Here we are at a roundabout. So roundabouts were obviously pretty complicated. 
It's it, waited for those two cars. Yep, it just waited for those two cars to go and then did the turn. Um, again, I'm being somewhat repetitive about this, but we have never programmed in the concept of a roundabout. We just showed a, a whole bunch of videos of roundabouts. <laughs> you see guys, roundabouts are very tricky. I'm in the Middle East, the roundabouts are absolutely crazy. Even here in Toronto, man, some roundabouts, people just don't know how to you know, drive properly around them. But the Tesla went around it with no issues. It saw the other cars and it just, that's insane. There's no programming. Again, there's no programming. I have to stress this again over. There's no programming. There's no code. It just knows what to do in a roundabout because they have so much data collected that it knows what to do correctly. It knows the procedures. The thing knows it's a roundabout because of all the video training. It's absolutely nuts. It's crazy. Cruise, Waymo, I have no idea what you guys are doing with that flippy flap of LADAR and those 9,000 cameras, man. But you got to learn from Tesla, man. This is some next level technology. You definitely need a, a lot of training data, to a lot of video training data in order to make this work. Uh, so it's, and you need a, yeah, really um, billions of dollars of training hardware um, and you need to how to run the neural net training hardware. Billions of dollars. Good luck to all the other car companies that want to start it. At this point, just wait a couple more years and just license the damn thing. You'll be doing yourself a favor and you'll most likely not go bankrupt doing that. The mind blowing thing is that there are no, there, there's, there's no heuristics. There's no like uh, lines of code. Like there's, there's a guy on a scooter. It's never, it doesn't know what a scooter is. It doesn't know what paddles are. It's literally just been given a lot of video. Now this is part, this I have to stop. This part is crazy. Again, Elon said there's no lines of code, no programming, nothing. It doesn't know what a scooter is. It only knows that because there has been enough data collected. And this chart, guys, this is the third time showing this chart. I have to keep stressing this chart. This is why data collection is very important. You guys have to understand this chart is probably the most important thing in earnings report. This chart is very important when it comes to full self driving. We don't have any revenue or sales for full self driving at the moment, but this is so important. The steeper this line goes, the sooner FSD is going to get solved. The sooner FSD gets solved, the sooner everyone can opt in for $200 or $250 or $300 a month, whatever the price is going to be in the future for FSD. The sooner that happens, the sooner Tesla is going to make billions upon billions in profits. And as soon as that happens or about to happen, Tesla stock to the moon, not financial advice, but that's what I think is going to flip and happen. And I am 99.999% sure when Wall Street finds out that there's going to be billions upon billions with 60% plus margins in FSD. And all they got to do is one over the air update. I'm sure we're going to see the stock spike three to four X, just like how we saw in 2013, in 2020 and in 2021. My opinion but that's how I see things going because as soon as they see value, look at NVIDIA, for example, just one quarter jumped in less than a year, went from 100 bucks to now almost 500 bucks. I expect Tesla to do the same once FSD is solved. It's going to be absolutely a sheesh moment. We, we've got uh, uh, test drive, FSD 12 test drivers around the world. So we've got, we've got people in, I think, like New Zealand and like Thailand and yeah. Norway, Japan, Japan. Yeah. Every, everywhere. Version 12 is already happening in some places. That is a flipping good sign. So we're here we are at a roundabout. Uh, the car is, is it, you know, I've, I've never, I've never been to this roundabout before and the car is not specific. How can no one notice Elon Musk is in the car? If I saw him and I was one of those guys, like that guy in the Tesla, I'm going to be like, bro, that's flipping Elon Musk. I'm going to stop right in front of him to take a picture like, dude. It waited correct for the correct amount of time drove smoothly around the roundabout uh, again I will be somewhat repetitive but there yet yeah, there is no line of code that says what around this is a roundabout there is not nothing that says wait you know X number of seconds again no line of code that's just absolutely and flip and say, and this is why it's scalable. L LADAR, LIDAR, whatever it's called, that thing needs to be pre-mapped. But no line of code, the thing knows, it sees, it's, a, it's an eye and a brain, it's an actual AI, it's it's like another human, but it's not a human driving, that's what's important, that's how you can scale it. Ah, oh, I don't know how many times I have to stress that. And then w whenever we find that there's something, say if the card doesn't perform perfectly, we give it more examples of what it should do in that situation and um, updates the, the weights and uh, 
then it works. Now this part is absolutely crazy. If the car doesn't perform perfectly, as what Elon said, they give the car more data from the video collection to teach it, obviously from the good side of it. And they have their own procedure of how to do that, which is absolutely insane. So when the FSD did something wrong, it'll be intervention, it'll be sent to Tesla, then Tesla will know this vehicle did something wrong, or the AI did something wrong, so it'll reteach it again in the next version, the next version. That's why when new versions come out, it's better and better and better. Again, as what Elon said, intervention gets uploaded for training, so later this issue won't happen again or gets better not trying to do that mistake again in the future until it doesn't make that mistake again anymore. Sure. Oh, 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 intervention, sorry. <laughs> Speaking of interventions, one just happened right here. Again, what will happen here is that the car knows that this was intervention, it will be given to Tesla as a data collection, it'll see what went wrong there and then train the AI in the next version to not do that again. As we saw in the video, the left turn signal went green and the Tesla thought it was green for it, so Elon had to stop and you know intervene. Next time, or the next version, this won't happen. Uh, again, we've never programmed in the notion of a turn lane or anything like that. Oh, do you want a lane? Oh, we, we, yeah, we, we don't even know what, we've never, there's, there's no line that says, uh, think that it has, there's no line of code about traffic lanes at all. Now that's just absolutely insane. There's no code for traffic lanes. It just knows that these little lines are lanes because it has so much video data, it has so much data. Again, data is so important when it comes to FSDs next level. Again, I'm showing this chart for the fourth time. Please guys, in Q3 earnings, please focus on this chart. Doesn't matter if they profit or not, they're gonna profit obviously, but long-term FSD is what's gonna take the stock to the next level. It's gonna value the company in next levels, trillions upon trillions, and we, and we wanna know when FSD is gonna happen because that's the next big thing. And this chart, until we don't have any revenue and profits, this chart is the best indicator of that. In, in sort of RoboDaxi world, it would actually just, um, you know, probably perhaps know what you look like and say, and just literally look for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a picture or something, you can just yeah, put exactly. It's like if you're signed up and it's like, you know, the, just say you don't have to, but if you if you want the car to literally find you, yeah, sit, get, you just have to send it a picture of you, and it will it will look for you and 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 wait for you. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you know the Tesla knows how I would look like, and then it'll just stop for me, it'll just follow me, or just you know wait for me and wait until I'm in. Then it knows, that, then it verifies me. I mean, that's next level, man. Let's just get the FSD done first, then we can talk about the robot taxi. And there you guys have it. Honestly, it felt like watching history. It really did. History in the making, version 12. If it's not beta anymore, then it's just gonna be absolutely insane. This is literally a new era of driving, a new evolution to vehicles and in the automotive industry. And if you're betting against that then oh man i don't know i really don't know what you're doing because this if this thing's gonna be which it already is 10 times 20 times 30 times safer than human driving and there's a high demand for it i don't see why the government or politicians won't approve such a thing that's all i gotta say if you guys want to watch this full entire live stream it is a bit boring that's why i sped it up and went to the important parts and key takeaways here but if you guys want to watch the full live stream link in the description and if you guys keep dollar cost averaging into tesla stock then you guys need this shirt 10 percent off with the discount code rip bears all in caps and I made a Patreon, guys. Again, if you guys want to follow and get more exclusive stuff and get access to my Tesla Master Charts, the link is right there in the corner. And I would really appreciate your support. I love you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out this video, 2030 stock price prediction, including everything. It's absolutely insane. I can't get my head around it. Get your bought dip t-shirt again, 10% off with Rick Bears. And I, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.